Hi there, it's Alan from Automate Your Life, and I don't know if you've ever had the situation where your robot vacuum doesn't work anymore or the battery's not working. Um, it doesn't mean that your, your Roomba or your Yeedy or whatever vacuum you're using is not going to work anymore. It just means that the battery needs to be replaced. We'll show you how to do that here on Automate Your Life. All right, so you got your Roomba vacuum cleaner or your smart robot vacuum cleaner. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to turn that thing over. So you turn it over gently. I just place it on top of a table. Um, when you have to start it back up again, make sure you put it back on the floor. Um, but what we're going to look at here is on the bottom of the Roomba is you're going to see these set screws that are marked with arrows. Those are the screws that you're going to need to unscrew to in order to uh, take out the backing off of the Roomba vacuum cleaner. So I just started back taking off the screws and the screws don't completely come out. They're just uh, meant to stay in place, but you just loosen them and you take all four and you loosen all of them and then what you do is you just lift the backing out. I left the, um, well, you can take the, the uh, rotating bristles out um, just by using the screw there and just popping it out and when you have the chance you can just kind of clean that out um, with either a screwdriver or um, some compressed air. So what I did here is I just took the backing off and I used some compressed air to clean off all the rest of the dust. So it's nice and well, much cleaner than it was before. And you can see there's a lot of dust bunnies that settle in in different places. And it's just an opportunity to clean it out. And then what you can see is you can see the battery has these green tabs. And so you're going to take those green tabs and you're going to pull it out. In my case, the green tabs are folded in, but uh, they should be folded out so that you can just pull the battery straight out. And you can see it's a 3000 milliamp battery, 14.4 volt. Um, and you can get these from, uh, from the links below. And uh, if you go and you take a look, you can get different sizes or different uh, capacity of batteries, any ranging from 2,800 milliamp hours to almost like 45 or 4,800 milliamp hours. And so I got a new one and I just opened the box and just to make sure that everything was, is fine, that there's no cracks. You also notice that I'm wearing my gloves. I recommend that you always wear gloves when you're doing maintenance like this. And you can see that it's a 4.5 um, thousand milliamp battery. So I've increased the, the size or the capacity of the battery. And you can see there's like a little notch at the top and that's supposed to fit in. And I think that's propriety. So just to make sure that it fits in with Roomba vacuum cleaners. Um, so that you just place it back in, keep those tabs out. And you know, what I realized is like in order to put the back plate back on, I needed to take out the, the bristles. So I took that off and uh, put the back plate back on. And you're going to hear a little bit of a beep, meaning that the battery is recharged or new batteries in. And so I went back at it, it's rescrewing the, uh, the four set screws. That's a Phillips screwdriver. Once you've done that, you can put the bristle back on and put the light screw back in. And then once you turn it over, you can get ready to charge it. Now I wouldn't recommend charging it up on a table where I have, I would recommend putting it back on the floor in case it wants to start up again. There's an indicator that's telling you that it's starting to charge. He's sleeping. And so I put it back on the floor and you can see that it's just ready to charge. And I left it there for about three hours, came back. My Roomba was ready to rock. You can almost tell right away that uh, the difference between the battery was dying and what it is now. Thank you for watching everybody. Let's watch some unboxing videos.